how's it going? In this video, let's have a look at the bootleggers ROM for the LG V30. I'm using this on my H930DS, but it is available for other variants of LG V30 as well. Dual SIM works well here, but there's obviously one issue here that Volt E won't work for Geo users and it doesn't really work on any custom ROM as of now. And this is an Android 9 Pi ROM, so you have the option of digital well being here. And now let's move on. Fingerprint scanner, face unlock works here well. There are no issues with it. And you even have hi fi quad DAC settings available here when you plug in your earphones. So that's pretty cool to see. It has been made available only recently on custom ROMs. Now, as you can see here, there is option of having device themes and changing the theme, but I'm using Substratum themes, so it is disabled here, as you can see written here. So that's pretty cool. And you can even change the fonts here. Maybe I'll just apply one really quickly. Yeah. So uh, other than that, these are pretty standard options. You can modify the ambient display options, but in my experience, the ambient display works a little bit wonky. It doesn't always work as it is supposed to but it works and there are no major issues with it but it isn't perfect now battery life the battery life is pretty decent it is similar to what i get on stock android of lg based rooms or something similar and in terms of performance the performance here is pretty good I'll quickly go through these customization options. You can have a look at them and see which ones you like. I won't comment on each one specifically. So talking about the performance, the performance here is pretty good as I already mentioned. And PUBG Mobile, I've seen that performance is a bit better than what I get on stock Android rooms. Now here are some quick setting options here. As you can see, and before I forget, most of the customization for the quick toggles lies here. You can see there are a lot of custom toggle options here for you. And you can even customize how many columns should be shown here. So that's pretty dope. You have hardware button options. As you can see, I will quickly browse through them. And then you have nav bar features. As you can see, I'm using by specific navigation gestures here, but you can have fling options or maybe even smart bar options as well as you can see here and you have features like lock screen customization like it shows you what is the charging speed here so that is pretty dope double tap to sleep fingerprint auto unlock is also here you have some recent apps options here there are several options like stock grid and android go and the quick step does not have the option of showing clear all buttons but other all other options have that you have some notification customization options as well then you have the power menu options then you have animations so as you can see there is a lot of stuff here and there are a lot of customization options as compared to stock android so this one is the navigation that i'm using so that's pretty cool let's go and miscellaneous you may find some other stuff as you can see here and these are the magisk modules that i'm using it is not compulsory that you use them but these are the ones that i found were pretty useful so thank you for watching have a nice day